Hello again, good to have you all back again. Of course, if you're tuning in for the first time, I am the Articulate Grunt. Welcome to my channel. Now, the last couple of bids I did, recalling instances from Iraq and my military past, went over really well. They're really well liked. So I thought I'd share another one with you today. Back in 2006, in Iraq, I had an armed escort team of five gun trucks. We were escorting a plussed up Iraqi army company. They were basically traveling in bongo trucks, a little better than open topped almost flat bedded oversized pickup trucks commonly used for operations in the air in the area and just moving stuff whether it be a farmer civilian or military operation common use there what was available so we're escorting the Iraqi army group as I said plus up company about 200 guys now we're going down the road I've got five armored gun trucks and these bongo trucks literally have Iraqis hanging off the side have soldiers hanging onto the side half sitting Kind of hanging, you know, not trying not to fall off the truck going down the roadway. I'm the American officer in command. I've got my command vehicle. It's got extra antennas. And I'm talking on the radio, keeping communications with my unit. And suddenly get a tink, tink, ding, tink sound off my vehicle. And like, that's gunfire. We're taking hits. I turn to look, radio at my ear, and realize I've got three insurgents standing in between a pair of Iraqi homes. Now, this wasn't a town or city or anything. These were literally a pair of homes next to some, next to some fields alongside the roadway. But I've got three insurgents standing between the two homes, AKs in hand, shooting at my vehicle. Never mind, all they had were AKs. Never mind, there was 200 plus Iraqi soldiers, no body armor or anything, hanging open on the backs of trucks. They're shooting at my armored vehicle. And... My driver, my translator, my gunner, all of us riding along just kind of dumbfounded that it's like, are they really that stupid? They're not doing anything. And then it clicked on, my brain finally realigned, probably a split second later, but still was. Why are we not returning fire? I flipped flip the channel, hit the mic. So I'm going to get those bastards. Here's the entertaining part. Four of my five gun trucks had angles of fire. All four gunners swung around. 50 cal, three 240 Bravos. Basically three medium and a heavy machine gun. And opened up. All four gunners decided to focus their fires on the man standing in the middle. <laughs> so the one guy standing in the middle, several feet to either side, clearing him from his buddies, took four machine guns. And it was like something out of a cartoon. He got yanked up, thrown around, sprayed around. The sides of both houses and both of his buddies got covered in blood and little bits and things thrown in odd directions. And the other two obviously stopped firing. My machine gunners also stopped firing. The other two dropped their guns, ran, and a red station wagon took off seconds later from behind the house. As did the entire company of Iraqi troops behind me in these bongo trucks go tearing off across these fields, ditches, and everything, chasing the red station wagon, blocking line of fire. We were not going to get it. And technically we had to hold fire anyway because they were no longer ho hostile engagement. They weren't shooting at us. It wasn't a allowed engagement anymore. They dropped their guns and ran, and by the rules of engagement at the time, we had to let them go. So, fun and not fun to this, out of three gunmen, my gunners cut down one and scared the crap out of the other two, spraying them with bits of their buddy. The Iraqi company went running across the terrain, running across the countryside. The other two insurgents did get away. And we spent close to three hours rounding up and bringing everyone in and treating the wounded because their drivers floored it across fields, ravines, rough dirt roads. And we had close to 20 wounded Iraqis because truck hits bump, guy goes flying, and lands in ditch, breaks his leg. Truck makes turn. Two guys fall off. One lands on the other. Breaks, ar breaks arm while breaking other guy's rib. It was a hilarious nightmare because not only were we set behind by about three hours, but we came rolling in with injured and wounded Iraqi troopers. If they just stayed on the road and we just pressed on, everything would have been fine. So, we got back and me and my guys did a little extra training to the okay. We've got three targets. Who's supposed to fire where? Hope you found it mildly entertaining. Hope you didn't hurt yourself too bad doing the... Oh my god, really? And, hope this found you in the best of health. 
take care and remember, get up, get out there. Nobody can stop you from doing your best but yourself. And maybe a lack of common sense. Take care of yourself, stay safe, and I will catch you next time. I'm the Articulate Grunt, out from here. Bye.